Hello and welcome to a video about field passes. Field pass. So what is a field pass? Yeah. I thought about it, what could be understood as a field pass, and I came up with a solution. Yeah. Maybe something like this. There's the Mr. Farmer, yeah? and here they are the guests of the field bus. This is the field bus here. Driving. Is this a field bus? No, <laughs> of course not. Yeah. Field bus is something else. Yeah. Field bus is a communication device. Okay. Field bus is a communication device. That's not a field bus. Field bus means communication. In the last video we talked about we talked about bus communication. We said, okay, there are several nodes yeah, and they share one communication media. All have access to their communication, to its, the same communication media. This is a bus. Okay. And then we said there are serial and there are parallel buses. We said serial buses, or parallel buses are good for high data transfer rate. That would be good for us too. Yeah. That would be good for us too, high data transfer rate. However, parallel buses can only be some meters. Yeah. If we really go, and now why it is called field? Because we're going from a control room or wherever, central station, into the field, into our plant, into our whatever, whatever is out there, into the field. Yeah. Bus to the field where the action happens, so it is called field bus. And in the field, that's not within two meters range, this is maybe at big plants in kilometers range. So field buses are usually serial. Serial bus system. Okay. Serial bus system going to the field and connecting different automation devices, sensors maybe, uh, some control systems and so on to each other, some, uh, uh, some SCADA systems, uh, logging systems, display systems and so on, they all link together yeah? by one communication device, field bus. Serial bus system, big advantage, only two wires. Okay, only two wires. With two wires, I connect the whole the whole field to each other, and everyone can communicate. This was already done very early. Yeah, this was already done very early. Uh, in former times, uh, in former times, every every company which is was doing, which was doing automation technology, they, in Germany we would say, kochten ihr eigenes Süppchen. Yeah? They did something on their own. They did something on their own. And every field bus system worked a little bit different. Yeah? There was no interoperability possible. Yeah? This was simply not possible. And bigger companies then really complained about this. And in the end, it was uh, General Motors with General Motors, with their manufacturing automation protocol, which laid the ground stones for 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 uh, the now called OSI model, o o OSI layer model. Yeah. This OSI means Open System Interconnection Model. 
Ja. Und der basic idea behind this model is to, to somehow uh, divide the communication, the communication into layers. Ja. So they defined seven layers. Ja. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven layers. Ja. And every, every communication partner has these seven layers implemented. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. There's a separate video about this. Yeah, this is this is called ISO OSI layer model. Reference model for layer. The idea is that every layer communicates with the other layer. For for, for this layer. It really looks like it would directly communicate with this layer. Yeah. However, in reality, the information is going down through the layers. And here, down here, we do have the connection. Yeah. And then we're going up again. And since those interfaces here, yeah, between the upper layer and the lower layer, are well defined, I can simply rip one layer out or the, the, the lower decks out, the lower layers out, and replace it with something else. And the upper layers will work as before. Yeah? So and every layer has a specific specific task. So the lowest layer, layer number one, this is the so-called physical layer. Yeah? Here things are defined like which cable do I use, which voltage level do I use, maybe I'm using uh, op fiber optics, yeah? which wavelengths do I use and so on, which type of connectors, this is all physical layer. Yeah? Above there is then the link layer, data link layer. Yeah? This is how to establish a link between those two and logical logical way yeah then above there would be the network layer which already provides several hops in between yeah so this is point to point up to now and here we have end to end suddenly and then there's the transport layer and so on and so on there is a separate video about this ISO OSI layer model yeah but this model yeah since this is implemented this enabled really a broader broader use of field bus technology and also interoperability between the standards simply. Yeah? So this was really a big step, big big step forward. Yeah? Now let's come to one one thing which is the so-called topology. Okay? Topology of field bus systems. Topology. There are several topology methods. Yeah? There can be one center node, yeah? and then there around there are surrounding nodes. And the central node is holding connection to every every communication partner. Yeah? This is uh, star system, a uh, star bus, because it looks like a star. Yeah. The big advantage is that every communication is running over the central node. Yeah. So if I want to know who is, con who is communicating with whom and where is the most traffic, I just have to ask the central node. Yeah. The central node knows the traffic, but that's also the, the weakest point of this. If the central node fails, everything is Dead, yeah, and also if I want to add an additional node, yeah, if I want to add an additional node here, I have to change something in the central node because this has to maintain the new, the new node. Yeah, it has to be a connection there. This has to be physical, logical, and so on. I have to touch it. 
And since this is a very, very uh, important thing in the middle, yeah, every touch of this would cause a risk. Yeah? Starburst system. Then I could just chain them up. There is the communication line. Yeah. Big advantage of this, if I want to enter a new node, I just add it. Okay, just add it. Huh. Does not really bother the others. Okay, not at all. This thing is called a line. Yeah. Line structure. This is the line structure. Uh, easy be, it can be easily uh, extended, yeah? so there can be uh, as many as many communication partners as they wa as they want to be. Yeah? The big disadvantage of the line, yeah? then usually usually there are terminators here, yeah? terminators, which has just some technical reasons. Abschlusswiderstände, terminal terminal resistors, but this is not really. Is not really a big disadvantage that they are there. Yeah, they are very small. Uh, the big disadvantage is, is one node fails. Like I said, this is failing. Yeah? These ones cannot no longer communicate with these ones. Okay? That's the disadvantage of the line structure. Then there is something. Like this. Yeah? And they are connected to each other in some sort of ring. Okay, now it's a ring. Yeah. This ring structure can also be easily, if I just enter here, a new connote can be easily extended. There are, can be easily added new new partners, new communication partners, and there can be a lot of communication partners without having the risk that the middle communication partner, the most important one, is overwhelmed by so much talking. Okay? And also if this one, if this node is failing like here, yeah, this one can still communicate with this one because it's a ring. Of course I have to take care somehow that this is working. Uh, this is working, so if the, then the, the traffic is automatically rerouted the other way, yeah, that this is automatically, so this means this is a little more, more expensive than this one, but at least it's working. Okay? That's the big advantage of the ring system. Uh, this would be those topologies, these possible topologies. What is the same for all of these topologies is that they are sharing the communication media. Yeah? Because the communication media, this line and ring and start topic and so on, they might only be they might only be logical, not physical. Okay. So whenever we are sharing a communication media, we have to get sure that only one person is talking. It's like in the classroom, yeah? If only one person is talking, every everyone else is listening, the communication is clear and understandable. If then there is starting a side discussion somewhere, there or there, and suddenly everyone is talking, nobody understands anything. Okay? So this should be avoided. Yeah? So to avoid this, there are several, several uh, ways of how to control the access, the access to the shared communication media. So, so we are now talking about Access control. One pretty common access control is called CSMA CD. Yeah. This is, for instance, used in Ethernet. Yeah. This CS means carrier sense. What does it mean, carrier sense? If 
a participant wants to tell something, yeah, it listens if somebody else is already talking. So it's a very polite solution. It's just not shouting out. It first listens if somebody is already talking. Yeah. Listen if someone listen if someone else is talking. Okay, polite. Then multiple this MA means multiple access. So this basically means everyone is allowed to access the bus. Yeah. Everyone, every participant is allowed is allowed to talk. Yeah. And then we have the CD. This means this means collision. Collision detection. Collision detection. Yeah. This means if I start to talk, then maybe somebody else who was also polite to wait until the communication was finished, yeah, is also starting to talk. And then we have a so-called collision. Yeah. This means nobody understands anything. If this is detected, collision detection, yeah, then every partner stops their communication yeah, for a random time. Random time. Stop communication for random time. Communication for random time. Okay, stop communication for random time and then start over. Carrier sense, collision detection. Yeah. Since this is a random time, the chances are high that the chances are high that they are not starting again at the same point in time. Okay. That's already the biggest weakness of this system. Yeah. It might happen that one partner is always starting to talk by bad luck. Is always starting to talk if somebody else talks, yeah, and is never able to deliver the message. Yeah? We know such behavior from internet and so on. Sometimes it looks like it's hanging. Yeah, it's just because maybe the network is overwhelmed. Yeah, it's flooded by communication. Yeah, then one partner might have not, cannot deliver its message for an undefined, and that's now the issue, an undefined time. Yeah? This means, since this, the response time is not defined in these things, this is not, this is not real time. This is not a real time access control system. Okay? There is a variation of this. This is called CSMA CA. Yeah? The first part is the same. And the C means collision avoidance. Yeah? This means the higher priority partner continues to talk. Continues to talk and the lower priority partner is stopping. This makes it it's true that the higher priority partner is can deliver its message. So as collision avoidance is for instance the canvas system. Yeah. So there are in, in the car there are higher priority things than lower priority than lower priority things. Yeah. If I don't know the brake light has to go on, it does not really matter. If in the, at the same time I turn on the volume of my radio, this can wait. Yeah, then this is collision avoidance, the correct, the correct way. Okay. Basically, carrier sense, multiple access, collision detection, collision avoidance. That's one possible way of access control. Okay. 
one also very very common way of 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 doing access control is the so-called token passing token passing there are the several nodes yeah, which are sharing this communication media with each other yeah and one of these nodes has the token yeah i have the token and one of these yeah the one with the token is the one which is allowed to talk yeah now this one is talking and if you don't have the token you are forced to listen okay this one is talking yeah after it finished talking it will pass the token to the next one yeah now this one is allowed to talk yeah now this one is allowed to talk and this will and this this will then pass through all participants on the bus and then start over okay so if we go at the token is going around all participants and everyone is allowed to talk at one point in time yeah. sounds already very nice but now there is always there's always someone and this is in life and also in technical system there's always someone who believes he's so important everybody has to listen and here there is so much to tell yeah. teachers <laughs> Yeah, there is so much to tell, and so it won't stop talking. It won't pass the token. Yeah. This is then a problem because nobody else can 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 talk. Yeah. Therefore, there's a timeout value implemented. This means if there is so much to say for this one, yeah, then is allowed to talk a certain amount of time, yeah, and then has to pass the token anyway to the next one. Yeah. This is always this ensures that everyone got its fair share of talking. Yeah? And if I now know this timeout for every communication partner, yeah, if I know this, yeah, then I can calculate the worst time it would take to come back to me. Yeah? And since this is calculatable and defined. This is a real-time communication. Okay? This is a real-time access control system. Yeah, token passing. Yeah? Only the one with the token is allowed to pass, is allowed to talk. If there is nothing to say for one, it will immediately pass the token. So it will not wait until the, the timeout is finished, of course. Yeah? And there is one thing which is also, this was called master-slave, now we call it uh, primary, secondary. Yeah. There is one dedicated primary and several dedicated secondaries. Yeah. So this, is, this one here is the primary. And these ones here are the secondaries. Secondaries are not allowed to talk. They are not allowed to talk until the primary, until asked by the primary. Okay? What's up? Don't talk. Yeah. This one is asking this one. Yeah. Tell me something. Is there something new? No. Then it's asking the next one, and the next one, and the next one. And so every secondary is asked by the primary, and only if asked by the primary, the secondary is allowed to answer. Yeah? Primary secondary system. This thing that the primary has to start, has to start the communication with the secondary, this is called polling. The primary is polling each secondary and the secondary is responding. This is also, this is also something, uh, something for the access control. Yeah. 
This of course is also real time yeah? because if this is not answering, there's a timeout and then the next one will be asked. Okay. Real time, real time, not real time. Okay. These are it should not be a whole list of, of access, but only some examples. Yeah? They are all different, different things. Yeah? Like there are also different different field bus systems. Yeah? There are very different field bus systems. So there is, for instance, actor sensor interface, there is the CAN bus, the uh, control area network, there's the interbus, there's the mode bus, there's the profi bus. There is ah, so many, so many, so many, so many. Yeah? How to how to decide for one system? Yeah? What is this? Yeah? So you should ask yourself some questions. Yeah? So what does it mean? What does it mean to include? A new, new member to the bus. Yeah. How much effort is this? Yeah. What does it mean if one member fails? Yeah. Will it drop down the whole bus? Yeah. What, what is the timing? What is the timing of the bus? Yeah. What is the speed of the bus? The communication? What is the speed, timing, speed? Yeah. Are, there, are there enough companies? Is this bus widely known by different companies, support by different companies, company support? Or is this a bus which is exclusively used by one company and maybe it's a little bit difficult then to buy you to this exact company if you have more choice you have more choice that's an advantage yeah other references usually you need to solve an issue which was already solved in a similar way or in a similar a similar issue was already solved which which uh, system was there used? Yeah. Is this is this a possible solution for my issue? Yeah. What does it mean to maintain? Of course, maintain effort. How much maintain effort do I have got? And of course, there's the costs. Yeah. What does one member cost me? These questions should help you to, to select one, one communication partner. Yeah. There are some, some things which, which are commonly used. Yeah. I wrote here timing and speed and so on. Yeah. So timing, speed and also uh, length. What does it mean? Timing is real time or not real time. Okay, real time possible. Speed, this is usually given in, this is usually, usually given in symbols. By second, yeah? the higher, the more symbols per seconds can be transferred the higher is the speed of the bus. Yeah? And this here, the length, the length, this is of course something, yeah. How many meters can two members be apart? And how many meters are maybe in total, yeah, with all the members? There are differences. Yeah? Some are only 100 meters, some are 2.5 kilometers or whatever. Yeah? So this has also be, uh, 
consider in your in your decision which which uh, field bus system you want to use. Okay. By now, I hope you have already a pretty good understanding what a field bus system is. Yeah. What things are possible? I've mentioned some 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 things. Uh, what things are not possible? Uh, what things you have to to take care about? Yeah. So this was it with our field bus. Next time we are going to talk about the measurement of electrical things. Okay. So voltage, current, resistance, something like this. Yeah. This is very important because most of the sensors which we later will be use are changing an electrical property. And if we can measure electrical things, we can measure with the help of the sensor different other things. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.